Good evening, welcome everyone to ITV News. This is Wednesday night's calendar. Here are tonight's main stories. Well, first tonight, it's been an incredible 24 hours in the spotlight for the former Yorkshire County cricketer Azim Rafiq after he faced MPs and called out what he says is institu institutional racism at his club and in the game. Well, today he said he wants to make sure that no one takes their eye off the ball and various organisations stay good to their word that changes will happen. He was heading home to Barnsley after a round of interviews this morning at the headquarters of a mental health charity where he is now ambassador. And you can see more on this story and any developments as they have. Councillor Paul Nickerson was suspended from the group yesterday after a social media backlash over posts on both his public Twitter and Facebook accounts. Now, David Hurst has been following this story and joins us from the newsroom. David. Well, next, with huge numbers of job vacancies across Yorkshire and Lincolnshire, the Justice Secretary says companies should consider hiring ex-offenders to fill staff shortages. Well, currently only one in seven prison leavers find a job within six months of their release, but studies show the chances of those who find employment re-offending is cut by a third. The Department of Justice is now urging bosses to be more open-minded about an applicant's post by offering them a second chance. Nick Smith reports. Still to come, why getting hold of a real Christmas tree this year might be a bit more difficult than you'd think. I'll ask him if it's going to be a white Christmas shortly. But now the organisation that runs hospitals in Hull has set itself the ambitious plan to become the first carbon neutral hospital trust in the country 15 years earlier than the target set by the Department of Health. Sounds good, doesn't it? Staff there are trying to go net zero by 2030. There's a lot of work ahead, so our reporter Sarah Clark has been to see some of the measures they're taking to achieve this and see if it's even remotely possible. Well, it looks pretty grim. Thanks for that, Mary. Uh, we've got some football now, and Barnsley have announced Poya Azbagi as their new head coach. The 36. OK, well, now, if you prefer a real Christmas tree, which I do, uh, you might struggle to get hold of one this year. The industry is one of those being badly affected by the current labour and supply chain difficulties, which were also warned is pushing up prices. But despite concerns about a lack of imports from Europe this festive season, the Christmas Tree Growers Association there is one, is urging people not to panic and support the growing trend for buying local. Amrit Birdie has been hearing from growers in Lincolnshire. Now I can completely identify with this because we always go to a Christmas tree forest mm -hmm. where you pick your tree, you put your tag on it and there was none left at all. So we ended up with this, if I show you this, the bottom off. Okay. So that we can... Well, we'll look forward to that. When we'll we keep you updated. We'll bring it in as you, when it's all trimmed up. Here's me thinking... <laughs> Anyway, winter draws on, mm. but... Um, thank you. Thank you, John. And if you like your birds, here's one for you, because finally to the circus of giant puffins that are set to land in East Yorkshire next year. Yes, that is the collective name for them, apparently, before you call me out on it. No, no, I understand that. It's a deep research and all that. <laughs> uh, around 40 artistic statues of the beloved birds, each of them one and a half metres tall, have come to the area in a bid to raise both funds and awareness of the threats to our coastal wildlife while attracting new visitors to the region. It's the latest in a string of statue trails, and we sent Jonathan Brown to have a look. Johnny, thank you very much indeed. That's a flip floppy one. It's going to be a proper statue when it's made. Be lovely. Here's, Here's John, John with the weather. Here's John, that's it from us. Our next update's at half past ten. The national and international stories are next with Mary Nightingale. But for now, from the whole team on calendar, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. See you later. <laughs>